Welcome to Streams and the Desert Readers. This is Bree. We're going to read The Tooth Fairies and the Cleaning Factory. Deep in the new forest where no big people ever went was a tiny little magical village called the Ordon Gardens. Here, the three, here, three little tooth fairies named Insor, Insor, Scissor, Canine, and Molar were busy at work in their factory. The, the three tooth fairies were named after types of teeth. And Scissor was a tall and skinny with short pink hair. Canine was also tall with blue hair and Molar was short. Wise one with curly silver locks. All day, the busy little fairies cleaned and shined the children's milk teas they had collected during night. The milk teas were used to make very useful things in the Ordon gardens, like rods in the village and furniture in the homes for the little fairies. One day and realized that the teeth coming into the cleaning factory were not strong as they used to be. Oh dear, said and sister. And sister, these teeth are fraggled and brittle with holes and black spots. They crumble as soon as I try to polish them with my cloth. Whatever are we to do? Yes, said Kena. Nine, I know exactly what's wrong. The children are beginning to eat too many sweets and are not looking after their teeth at all. I know, we can fix it, said Molar, the wise one. She sounded quite excited by her grand idea. The three fairies looked at each other and waited while Molar explained all. As usual, it was a fabulous idea. The three of them wasted no time at all and got to work straight away. That night, it was Canine's turn to fly off and co- and collected all the milk teeth from under the sleeping children's pillow. Off she flew with a bag of coins, some white berry sandwiches for her lunch, and pack and a pack of cards with three fairies had spent all afternoon preparing. It was such a treat to leave the forest and see the city skylight, but it was a dangerous place for fairies. Canine had to make sure that the big people never saw her. She flew through the starry sky and saw a wonderful city fast asleep. Her first stop was a young boy named Junior. Earlier in the night, Junior and his mom had placed his tooth under the pillow. Mommy tracked Junior into bed and told him all about the tooth fairy who would leave the money in exchange for his tooth. She gave him a goodnight kiss and left him to fall asleep. By the time Canine arrived, Junior was fast asleep. She flew into the top window and was a jar and glided quickly down to Junior's pillow. She perched beside him and braced her herself in prepare in preparation for the task. Heavy she lifted the pillow and weighed herself between the pillow and the bed. She quickly grabbed the tooth and tossed it over to her backpack. She placed two coins and the fairy fairy special card in exchange under the pillow and flew off into the night sky to find more milk teeth. 
In the morning, as Junior woke up, he rum, he rummed under the pillow to see if the Tooth Fairy had left any money for him. He was thrilled to find the coins, but looked blankly at the card. Card he found in his hand. Mummy didn't mention anything about the card. He wondered. He read the card out loud. The Tooth Fairy's Guide to Healthy Teeth. One, eat healthy. Two, cut down on surgery sugary sweets and drinks. Three, brush your teeth twice a day. Four, use floral toothpaste. Five, visit the de- dentist regularly. Back in the or- back in the village of Ordon Gardens, the fla- the fairies were very happy about the new information card they were giving to the children. Soon enough, the milk teeth coming into the factory were strong and healthy again. Thank you for reading with me, guys. This is what a wonderful story. So now you know you always have to protect your teeth teeth, and never, ever, ever not take care of your teeth. Thank you for reading me with me, Streams in the Desert readers. If you want to read more books, please subscribe.